Now I'd like to cover the pulmonary artery catheter here uh, a little bit. Um, basically, the distal tip of this pulmonary artery catheter is designed to sit in the pulmonary artery so it can actually measure uh, pulmonary artery pressure. In order to get this into a pulmonary artery, you have to start a central line with a central catheter that has an introducer port, and then you're gonna insert the swan through the introducer port and guide it into the pulmonary artery. So the first question you're probably gonna have is, is how does this actually get into the pulmonary artery, and what prevents this from coiling up like this in someone's atria or ventricle? And the answer is, is this balloon on the distal tip that I'm gonna inflate here. This balloon acts kind of like a sail on a sailboat because when this balloon is inflated, it follows the direction of the blood flow. And so assuming that this catheter is not coiling up, uh, the blood flow should guide this from the right atrium into the right ventricle and into the pulmonary artery. The second question that you may have is how are you going to know whether this is truly in the pulmonary artery or whether it's coiled up? In other words, how do you know how far to advance this before stopping? And the answer there is that before starting, you simply just will hook up your Swangans catheter up here to a transducer tubing, and then you're gonna have to watch how the waveform changes as the swan is guided through the heart because the right atrium, the right ventricle, and the pulmonary artery each have a distinct waveform. So if you keep advancing this and all you see is a right ventricular waveform, you're most likely coiled up. And so you're gonna to need to deflate the balloon and pull back and try again. One uh, thin black line there means 10 centimeters. So there's 10 centimeters, 20, 30, 40, and then a thick black line there means 50 centimeters. And it goes all the way actually up to 100 uh, centimeters. The balloon port is this red port. And so if you want to inflate the balloon, you just connect your syringe to this red port and inflate. The yellow port is always called the PA distal port. And what this means is this uh, lumen here goes all the way to the distal tip of this catheter. The connection to this yellow port is you're going to connect transducer tubing and the purpose of that is you're going to use that to monitor pulmonary artery pressure and wedge pressure. Now let's go to this blue port here. The lumen to this blue port is much more proximal than the distal lumen so I can demonstrate this by connecting saline here and if you follow it all the way over here, you're gonna notice that saline comes out of that port right there. We connect transducer tubing to this blue port here, and we use that to monitor central venous pressure. The last port that I wanna cover here is this clear port, and sometimes it's a white port. And this lumen is also proximal to the distal tip of the catheter, and it is roughly next to the CVP lumen. The purpose of the clear lumen or the white lumen here is for the connection of all of your cardiac infusion drugs. The last thing that I wanna cover on this pulmonary artery catheter is this sterile contamination shield here. And sometimes it's pre-built onto the swan, but sometimes you actually have to put it on yourself. But basically once the swan is in the right place, you uh, bring this contamination shield all the way down to the hub of the cortis and attach, and that allows the portion of the pulmonary artery catheter that is hanging outside of the patient to remain sterile.